It's something that you probably noticed every day, dangerous and aggressive drivers on the road. And if you think you've been seeing more bad driving recently, well, you're probably right. And sadly, it's not just a nuisance. It can be deadly. According to the National Safety Council, Indianapolis saw a 31% increase in traffic deaths in 2020, while the nation as a whole saw an 8% increase in traffic deaths. And tonight, our Stephanie Wade is showing you firsthand what's happening on the roads. And what IMPD is doing to try to make your drive a little safer. Crashes in the city of Indianapolis have increased this year over 2021. That's according to IMPD. So they're stepping up patrols, making themselves known and pulling people over who are driving recklessly on the roads. On this Tuesday morning, police are posted up at 30th and Tibbs. Their radar guns are out. And you're going to 42 and at 25 mile an hour as well. And they're stopping people for speeding in this school zone. How you doing? My name is Austin Mitchell with IMPD. My reason for stop, you're 40 miles an hour in the school zone. This after just weeks ago, a seven-year-old girl was killed by a driver while crossing the street at a school crosswalk with her mother. It's horrific for families involved. It is absolutely, you know, horrific for the people involved in the crash themselves. Um, but I'm also sensitive to the fact that, you know, being a, a father now, a grandfather also, as well as being a police officer, uh, for the officers, it's also equally uh, as bad. You know, take that with you. Over a period of six days last week from September 17th through the 23rd, IMPD spent nearly 70 hours doing traffic enforcement in school zones, made 281 stops, issued 36 warnings, and wrote 376 citations. The kids' safety and for school zones, that, that is high importance. Um, but for somebody who lives in a neighborhood where people are running a stop sign, that's important for them also. So we don't want to diminish that either. We, we do prioritize the best we can because we've only got so much manpower. So we, we, we need to look at the traffic complaints we have and prioritize. Captain Fred Elnicki says after a year of less traffic on the roads because of the pandemic, and now with people back to work, back to school, and back to traveling, Drivers need to slow down and be more patient. The fact that we're losing any lives at all and to lose the life of any child or individual for someone breaking the law is unacceptable. We want that stopped. We want the city to support. We need the council to get behind us doing whatever it takes. Although we're grateful for what they have done, we need more. Joanna Franklin is the Crooked Creek Alert Chairperson, an organization that represents neighborhood associations, residents, schools, and churches from 38th to 96th Street and Spring Mill to Georgetown Road, says she's tired of seeing so many deadly crashes caused by people speeding dangerously. We need the city to support whatever it takes to get this stopped. We have too many people who are being run off the road, we have such reckless driving where they think it's a joke to ride in and out and in and out and in and out. Supporting police in whatever they can do to make it stop. The whole goal is not the ticket. The whole goal is we want the community to be safe. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Stephanie, thank you. To report a traffic complaint and ask for more patrols in an area near you, visit the Indy.gov website. Click their services.